In these problems, we're being asked to identify the graphs of quadratic inequalities. So instead of y or f of x equals some quadratic, we've got an inequality, a less than, a greater than, less than or equal, greater than or equal. So just like other inequalities, like linear inequalities, part of the graph is going to be shaded. And if it's y is greater than, it's the part of the graph that's above the line. So if you've got an upward opening parabola, above the line means the inside of that parabola. If you put your pen on any point on the parabola and move upward, you'll find that you end up filling up the inside and not the outside. If this were a downward facing parabola, it'd be the outside of the parabola. In this one, because we have y is greater than and it's an upward facing parabola, we know it's not going to be this one where the outside of the parabola is shaded in. It's going to be one of these. So how do we go about identifying which one it is? Well, I would probably solve for x here, so I had the x-intercepts and could determine uh, between b and c and d. So let's try that. I think we can factor this. Uh, that would be x plus 2 and x plus 3. We solve for x, we get x equals negative 2 and x equals negative 3. That's going to leave b out because b has solutions of 1 and negative 6 or something. It looks like both c and d have uh, x-intercepts of negative 2 and negative 3. So which one of these is it? The only difference between these two is that we have a dashed line over here for the line of the parabola and a solid line over here. The dashed line indicates that the equation itself is not part of the solution. And that's what you get when you have a plain old greater than or a plain old less than. It doesn't include that line of the parabola. If you had that equals there, greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, it would be a solid line. In this case, correct answer is the dashed line C. Let's try one more. All right, here we have y is less than or equal to x squared plus 3x. So this is an upward opening parabola. We've got less than or equal to, so it's going to be a solid line because of that or equal. And it's going to be um, outside the parabola is shaded because it's y is less than. So that's below the line or outside an upward opening parabola. So it looks like we can rule out D because that has the inside shaded. And it looks like we can rule out A because that's a dashed line. So we just have to, to differentiate between B and C. I'm going to find the uh, x-intercepts here by factoring. We get x, if we take an x out, we get x and x plus 3. So our solutions here are x equals 0 and x equals negative 3. Here we have 0 and positive 3. Here we have 0 and negative 3. So it looks like c is the only one that fits all those conditions. So that's a little bit about how to identify the graphs of quadratic inequalities. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.